Hello everyone and welcome to Infliction. If you're watching this video, the game should be out, so check down below in the description if you do want to get this for yourselves, alright? Now, if you didn't see my demo video, you don't know much about the game, Infliction is a first-person horror game where I'll be roaming around my family home while being haunted by a spirit. I was very impressed with the demo, and it looks like the full game is going to be a real treat to play. I really hope you enjoy it. Let's start a new game. You have one unheard message. First unheard message. Hi baby, I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Have a good look around and let me know. Love you. See you soon. End of message. To delete this message, press... signs of a struggle and all their belongings were still there including a journal kept by one of them the journal states several times that the island was talking to them the most common theory is that the men have suffered from cabin fever and were perhaps accidentally washed out to sea other cases like this have been reported on in the past but have never been fully resolved a full investigation has begun into this bizarre case we'll the hell is that wait what you gonna park under that thing that didn't look safe what <laughs> It's just a bit of wood hanging from a chain, I think. Here we are then. Right. Find the plane tickets. Right. Okay. Yeah, the gate. I get it now. Um, okay. So. Flashlight. Take it with me. Yes. Is it F to use it? I, yes. Yes, it is. Fantastic. All right. It's still there. Yeah. Is that really the only place you can store them, honestly? <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me sort of re-familiarise myself with the game. I remember the demo fairly well. I only played it maybe a couple of months ago. I seem to remember we can use pretty much everything we see. We can either, like, move it around or examine it or... Yeah. Yeah, it gives you a lot of uh, agency in the way you manipulate things, actually, this game. Lots of Maggie's toys down here. Right. Can we uh, open the car at all? No? That's the basement entrance, I believe. In the fridge... Not too much, no? Okay. The, uh, the, the garage. <laughs> the garage. There, yep. Right, so. Control to duck, yep, sure. That's locked up. What about this one? Oh, right. Well, this is an area I didn't get to explore in the demo, so we're already sort of covering new grounds. Is that blood? Nah, red paint. It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. Alright, let's see if I can work my way around to the back door. What about this force so can we use it? No. Okay, is this, uh... Oh, it's just unlocked. Not very security conscious, are you? Okay, we've got a couple of things over here in the kitchen that are... I think maybe usable. Maybe I want to pick them up or something. What's this? That's a big box. Oh, okay. What is it? Wow, nice wrapping skills. Oh my god, a puppy! I can't believe you did this. I love her. I'm gonna call you Sally. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's time for your gift. Look how clever our little girl is. I'm... I'm not right. sure exactly what's going on here, but she can already draw better than I can. She takes after her daddy. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we're collecting memories as we go around the house and, you know, we reminisce about good times. Because I'm fairly sure most of this game is going to be bad times. Maybe I can uh, reflect on those in some horrible situations. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really nice that you can just... You know, pick stuff up, use it, use the toaster there. All this stuff to have a look at if I, you know, if I want to. But right, what am I doing? You know, putting the toaster down for no reason. Okay. We need to go find some plane tickets, don't we? And if possible, get the lights on. Because who knows how long they're going to stay on. 
Right. Okay, so plane tickets tucked away in a drawer somewhere? Could be. I think it's worth we, you know, have a look at all of them, if we can. If they're not blocked up by anything. What about in here? Okay, a nice sort of lounge TV area. That is a huge TV. And this is what, meant to be 19.99? Holy hell, that must have cost you a l well. You could have probably got another garage with that money. VHS tapes, yeah, look at all these. Dragonborn, I like it. Hell House, Moon, yeah, that's right. Bloodlust. <laughs> this is so cool. I got you a present. Behind the Black Veil 7. Just don't expect me to watch it with you. I know you love this horror stuff, but it gives me nightmares. Ghosts, yuck. Okay. What? You left the fire going as well? Really? Really? Look at these masks. That's kind of cool. Yeah, neat. Another memory up here, I take it? Do you, Sarah Angel Adage, take Gary Ryan Powell to be your lovely wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward? For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. She does. And I bet she regrets that now. Right. Okay. Not working? What's this? Oh, the security system? Oh. Alright. Did I put the wrong code in, or is... Huh, alright. That's the outside light. Let's, let's keep it on. Let's see. Uh, where would that go? Would that actually, maybe that would go to the garage? I'm thinking. Or maybe this one? No. Oh, you know what? I recognise this part of the hallway. That's the kitchen over there. I think we got to explore this in the demo, didn't we? So we got all the, the collection of numbers and stuff in this sort of uh, roller deck setting it's called, right? Hang on. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. And I suppose we can use the phone for all these numbers, right? Well, let's see. I can definitely pick it up. Can I dial? Was there a message? Friday, June 4th, right. 4 15 p.m. Oh, uh, it's Mike here. I got a message earlier asking about changing the code to your security door. All you need to do is enter the code. Follow the steps I told you on the day I installed it. I wrote the code on the back of my business card. If you have any problems, call me during it's business hours. It's not just hours, the two of us anymore. Our family's Thanks. growing. It's Mike. Twelve hour labor, totally worth it. <laughs> Little Maggie. The love at first sight does exist, and this is the second time I've experienced it. I'm so happy, honey. Right. Things got a little bit complex there, but I think I kept track of what was really important. It wasn't the memory. I think Mike said there was a code on the back of his card. I can't seem to find it here, though, unless there's two M's. Could be in the ends, maybe? No? All right. What's this? Another memory? You're my heart and soul. Okay. Love, Sarah. Exactly. It's always nice when you get that option to have the plain text, because something like that, especially with the light on it, is pretty damn difficult to see. That's right, that's right. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I feel like I'm searching in the wrong place for the uh, the tickets, honestly. We can't go that way. Had a look at those two rooms. Okay, well, I guess we're going upstairs now. Um, or we can have a look in here. I oh, know it's it's all locked up for some reason. Now let's go upstairs. I don't think I got to go upstairs at all in the demo. No, this is all new, so I don't know where to go, where to start. Let's go this way, I suppose. Baby's room. Okay, yeah. This all looks very very nice. This game. It's on the Unreal Engine. Much like uh, a lot of these kind of games are these days. If you're going for sort of the realism, the realistic look, Unreal Engine does seem to be the way to go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I love the spin. 
With flair. Yeah, nice. Creepy. Let's put that away. <laughs> That's so cool that you could actually use that. That's nice. It affects the sound of it as well. This this game is really, really good for that sort of stuff. I'm sure that's completely useless. We'll probably never see it again, but it's nice that it's there. What was that? Thought that might have been another memory thing, to be honest. Right, yes. Yeah, the, the baby wouldn't have the plane tickets, right? Okay. Just a bit of a spare room, really. A bit of storage. Nice, right? Yeah, okay. That's right. Most boxes we see we can move from side to side, and I think that's going to be kind of integral to, uh, well, one of the sections that I played in the demo. Let's try this one. Oh, okay, got a uh, sort of toilet here. Can we, can we use it? 10 out of 10, game. 10 out of 10. Maggie's room. Right. Okay, let's see. Get some lights on. Nice. Okay. Maggie's a bit of a rocker, is she? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, yeah, again, I, I don't think I'm going to be finding any plane tickets here, but let's see what we can get. What, the NES controller? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, just the ES controller. I remember the, uh, the ES. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Just in case YouTube flags it, I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. And even if it's not, who cares, but there you go, let's not... Let's not push my luck. Alright, well, yep, let's keep moving on. Couple more rooms to have a look at. Uh, locked. Oh, what's up? Oh, hang on, we've got a keypad here. Eight, five, two, one. Okay, four digit code. Is this what uh, Mike was talking about? I figured he was talking about the one at the front door, to be honest, but. Huh. Okay, well, let's go to the very other end. This. He's going to the front of the house. Maybe that's where the master bedroom is. Okay. Yep, yeah, seems like it. A locked sort of balcony. That's probably for the best. Alright. Can we sort that light out? Or oh, hang on, hang on, what's this? Oh. Oh, this is the this is Mike's card, right. So on, on the back? 0516. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's turn that off. 0516. Okay. And what's this? Ensuite bathroom? Yeah. A little bit of a walk. Oh, well, not a walk in, but a walk through closet as well. And again, another flushable toilet. It's all good. <laughs> so, 0516. Yeah. Let's go check that out. Let's check it out at the door on the end, I think. Because I couldn't actually use the keypad down there, so... I figure it's probably got to be this door. Oh, hang on, no, that's not right. Is it... oh! That's it, okay, so... Zero, five, one, six. Hey, there you go! Alright. Is there something? Ah, yeah, there's something flashing over here. Perfect! Sarah Pout's plane ticket. Seattle to Sydney. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, take it with me. Okay. Objective complete. What is it next? Can't use that, no. Nothing in the drawers. Oh. Wow, look at this. That makes an impact. That's pretty well done, too. Uh, okay. Oh dear. Oh dear, come on. 
Sort yourself out. What's going on? No, I'm locked in here. What the fuck? No, it's probably not a stapler. <laughs> what do I need to do? The printer. No. Where's that? Hang on, what, what are you doing? What's with the mask? Didn't I see that mask downstairs? Yeah. Oh god, look at this! Oh, it's all changed! Okay. Nice, nice. So, it, you know, I, I, I killed my wife, right? That was me wearing the mask. It looks like the police have already been here, so what the... What the hell? <laughs> right. Okay. So, what was that? Maggie's room? Yep. I'm going in there. What about the toilet? No, nope, not happening. Alright. Wish this flashlight was just a little whoa. A little bit better. We've got a light switch over here that actually works. Oh jeez, it's just for that. Right, keep going, keep going. If we want to get out, let's try the front door. It's still not working. Ah, uh, well, there's a few doors around here, right? So can't go that way. What about oh the garage door? Right. Well, this is where I want to be, I think. Can you use the car. Yep, use the car. Get the hell out of here. No! <laughs> and that car I saw was me. How odd. Okay, yeah. Neat little intro. I'm stuck at the gate. You will just the two of us anymore. See you soon. Where's this? What? Well, we're back here again? Still... Oh, okay. Find a way to vanquish the spirit. Right, yes. I suppose that's going to be the main objective of the game, really. Deal with my very pissed off murdered wife's spirits. Okay, right. Uh, can we just go? Yep. Right. Still logs. I can go into Maggie's room again. Seems that half the lights aren't working anymore. What about the electronics? The VCR up there still works. Yeah. Actually, is that a tape? X-Files Season 1. Oh, nice. Shame we can't, you know, put that in. I haven't seen that in a while, actually. Drawers have been taken out. CDs and stuff. Carrie Grimshaw bads. It's so cool. I thought, like the detail they put into all these weird objects that are just completely inconsequential and most of them are fluff. Lovely, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, let's just go through everything again. Things may have changed. Yeah, things are just open again. Yeah, going to use the toilet here is somehow less appealing for some reason. More garage boxes, yep. <laughs> Alright. What about the baby's room? Yeah, we can go back in the baby's room. Huh. Our friend has left the toy box. Lights still work, though. How did you get out? Go on. Get back in there so I can lock you in. Can I actually use this thing? Oh, man, if I could use this thing, this game really would be overdoing it with the details. Uh, 
Everything's just busted up now. Right. I have a feeling I know where I need to go. And it... Well, it's the garage again, but I just want to see what's changed. Okay, overturns. Main light still works, though. What about the uh, balcony? No, it still can't get out to the balcony. I'll probably never be able to get out to the balcony. Shampoo? No. That doesn't warrant a memory. You don't have any fond memories of shampoo? Oh, man. There you go. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. <laughs> I could still try the draw. That's nice. Right, yeah, okay. I think we should go down if we can. Is it the chain I'm hearing swinging back and forth like that? Must be, right? Let's see. Is it open? No. Okay. Looks like I can go back through, though, thankfully. And the outdoor light still works, but the door doesn't. Right, okay. Let's go around here. Hmm. Yeah, that mask I saw... Yeah, it wasn't the one that was down here. Very similar looking, but not quite the same. Yeah. Things seem fine. Lights are working. It's all good. We're back here again. Fair enough. What was that? Stabbed over ten times. The victim's name was Sarah Powell. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Powell. He was found deceased only mere blocks away, slumped over the steering wheel of his car after a fatal collision with a tree. The murder weapon was found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of the crime. The couple had a daughter believed to be 19 years of age, but police have been unsuccessful in tracking her down. If anyone knows the location, please contact Pleasant Falls PD immediately. It is also believed that Sarah has been victim to domestic abuse. If you or someone you know is suffering from domestic abuse, get help before it's too late. Right, okay. The subtitles are a little bit out of sync with what's going on, but yeah, it seems that everyone knows what I did, and this is my particular purgatory, I suppose. Damn, that wasn't like that before, was it? The bloody knife in the breadboard. I suppose I can take that with me, can I? No, no. <laughs> I should be so lucky. It's not going to do me any good anyway. Uh, right. But did I do that? I, no, no, I didn't. That wasn't open before. Okay, what have we got here? Who is he? My thoughts are dark, black as night. Life is sparse, a total absence of light. When it's all over, come find me there. A broken soul. I belong nowhere. June My 1999. All oh, right. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten over Michael leaving us. And he blames me. Maybe it is my fault. All he does is drink, locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? I can't abandon him. 
I know Gary's in there somewhere and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him. Is there any more? No, that seems to be the last page. Okay. Alright. So we are going to get sort of commentary for some of the things we read. Oh dear. No, don't lock me in. Now what, the light's playing up? Ah oh, shit, can I close the curtains, I wonder? I really feel like someone's going to peer in and look at me. Let me help you. No? Oh shit. Oof. Oh fuck, hang on. Was that a shadow? Hey. Oh fuck, that corner. Bloody flashlight's just not working. Uh, yes it is. Just like the door is now. What? <laughs> yeah, that's right, I remember that from the demo. I don't think it's the same room though. Right. Hold on. Can't go back to the kitchen. I think this actually might be the demo bit. Okay. Yeah, the photo's changed. All locked up. Not this one, though. Right, yes. I look in the mirror. I see only a husk. I'm sure we'll be doing that fairly soon. Can I go in? No. I can't tell what that whispering was, and there was no subtitles, so I guess we're not really meant to figure it out. Okay, okay. Um, right. Wait, just... Just straight into the garage. Yeah, okay. And the lights don't work. Funny that. Yeah, the basement door. Took some inspiration from Silent Hill 4, the room, by the looks of it. Can't go through. Or can I? That's right, I just walked through a mirror. <laughs> and now the basement door is open. Or a basement door is open. What does that say? Insanity lies beyond the wall. You'll lose your soul. Good stuff. Keep out. No, I don't think so. Right. I'm just essentially checking if this is going to be exactly like the demo. It seems we are kind of restricted to just the basement here. Here we go. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, those boxes. Remember I said it was going to play an integral part? It's got to move these out of the way. There you go. I think I tried this in the demo too, but can we? No, can't take the hatchet, can't take the fire axe. Ah, oh, man. Right, yes. Right, yeah, yeah, stay away from that. But we do want to have a look at this book, don't we? Yeah, it's, it's a book full of rituals and rites and stuff like that. Um, I went through this in the demo. Uh, I'll allow you to sort of pause and read this yourselves if you want. But I think it's one of the last pages we're really after. Ritual of Sacrifice, is it that one? No. Devotion Scripture. Mm. That's not the page I'm looking for. Right of passage. Here we go. Find a way to vanquish the spirit. That's it. Okay. To complete the ritual, you'll need, you'll need to gather the following objects belonging to the angry spirit. Body of the deceased. Any part of the remains apparently work. Uh, image of the deceased. Clothing worn in the eyes of God. And an object of ancestral significance. Once collected, cleanse the objects with fire and spread the ash over the site where they were slain. Where I woke up, I suppose. Yeah. 
That's it. The very last page. So, right. We know what we need to do. I, we just need to collect these things. No. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Let's... Let's see if we can get out of here. Fuck. Ah, no, no. Where are you going? Honey? <laughs> Fuck. Where are you? Okay. Hopefully, just like the demo, that had to happen. I don't know, though. I really don't. Oh no, don't don't give me that. <laughs> I'm not stuck yet, I don't think. Although if it starts me out in the basement again, I hmm, I don't know how I'm going to get past her. A woman was found murdered in her home. Stabbed over 10 times. Managed to make a call to 911. Had been victim to domestic me abuse. And the monster living in my house is drunk. Maybe it is my fault. Abandoned here so much. Yeah. I'm honestly not sure. Are we replaying the entire section? No, no, no. It's changed again. Right, new objective. Find some of her remains. That's the first thing we need to take care of. Okay. Alright, so I think this is where I'm going to leave this first part, this first video of Infliction. Thank you very much for watching. But I think this video has set the scene fairly well. We know what sort of predicament we're in, we know the rough layout of the house, we know what we need to do, we know what we need to find. So maybe next time we can find the remains that we're looking for. But yeah, that's going to be in a part two that I assume you guys all want to see, but maybe I'm wrong. If you do want to see a part two, let me know by liking the video or commenting down below. If you don't want to see any more of this game, dislike. I really don't mind, but uh, thanks either way. All right, see you next time. The hell is that? Wait, what? You're going to park under that thing? That didn't look safe. That real engine does seem to be the way to go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Can we use it? 10 out of 10 game. Uh, okay. Oh dear. Oh! How did you get out? Go on. Uh, right. Did I do that? Oh shit. Oof. Oh, fuck, hang on. Insanity lies beyond the wall. You'll lose your soul. Good stuff. Where are you going? Honey? <laughs>